All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahusha. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing their work in truth and in sincerity. The hopeful elect, okay? Um, I want to go in this lesson on the spiritual breakdown of oppressed, not the wick, widow. Okay, um, earlier I was um, wondering uh, what does the, the word step, uh, stepfather or stepdaughter or, you know, step family b basically means, okay? And um, as I went into the definition of step uh, family, um, I came across uh, uh, the etymology of the, of the word step family okay and it led me on to um uh the the definition and from the definition it, it broke it down okay i'm gonna go ahead and, and bring it out um it says the earliest recorded use of which this is from the the, the word step family the er the earliest recorded use of the prefix step in the form uh steop it's from an 8th century glossary of Latin Old English, which means orphan. Okay, so when you, um, if you have a, a stepson or a stepdaughter, okay, the word step really means orphan. Okay, it says, um, stiop sunu is given for the, lit the Latin word filiester and stiop motor. For Nuos Nuoka, I believe I'm saying that right. It says similar words recorded later in Old English included step baron, stepchild, and stepfather. The words are used to denote a connection resulting from the remarriage, which that's an important word, okay? Uh, remarriage of a widowed per parent, or I mean, and are related to. Uh, asti, pit pit, which I'm um, meaning uh bereaved. Okay, so the word step father or step mother comes from uh is originally supposed to mean a woman that was widowed. Okay, and um they ended up, they remarried and um. You know they have children, okay, and uh, you know this woman that the the woman that that got remarried, her children were pretty much orphans. In this society, you know these people be remarrying and everything like that. You know, and they, they these people really aren't widows and stuff, man. You know, it's a lot of confusion out here in this uh, world, okay. Um, so once again, the word stepfather. Or step uh, parent means a person that is widowed, okay, and the step child or step daughter is an orphan, okay. Now, um, going into the lesson, um, I'm gonna get the first word of this, okay. It says uh, a widow is a woman whose spouse has died, while a widower is a man in that situation okay so a widower is a man who um his spouse has died okay now going into the lesson because we're talking about oppressed not the widow okay or or the widower which is a man okay um uh, this is isaiah 1 and 17 learn to do well Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, which the fatherless are the Israelites, okay, who lost their way, okay? You got people out here that are living their life, um, is you know, you even have Israelites that are that are uh, atheists, you know, they um they don't know what they believe in. They 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 into different religions and beliefs and stuff like that. Okay, um, 
and they don't know who Yahweh, the Most High Father, is. Okay, so uh, the the fatherless is the ones who who are living life without the Heavenly Father. Okay, and the only way that you can live life through the Heavenly Father is or, or serve Him correctly is through His Son Yahweh Shah, which is is the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, you have to be an Israelite. Okay, so that's who the fatherless is. But then it says, "Plead for the widow." Okay, which we're going to go into um, the widow. Okay, which in a in 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 the scripture I'm about to get it. Je Zechariah seven and nine. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, "Execute true judgment," which is still seeking, uh, saying the same thing. Okay, learn to do well and seek judgment. Right, execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion to every man to his brother. Okay, so to put it um, in so-called lamer terms, okay, the the men of the Lord is men of the Lord. We're supposed to uh, execute judgment and show mercy and compassion to the brothers. Of the elect that come in, okay, the hopeful elect that come in that may have came from many different walks of life, okay? So we have to execute the true judgment, okay? It says, um, and oppress not the widow, which who are the widow? The widow is a man whose spouse has died, okay? Which the, the widow... I'm going to get this scripture, Zechariah, I mean, Isaiah 34 and 16, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which, you know, this is how you, 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 I'm, I'm going to continue on. I'm not trying to jump ahead. It says, and read, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Okay? So, the thing is, when a brother comes into this truth, okay, you may have you may have been a brother that um believed in the Bible, okay, but you didn't have that full understanding of the scriptures, okay. As as men of the Lord, is is our job and it's our duty to break down these scriptures and to get brothers on the same accord, okay? So that when the Lord comes that brothers can hopefully be saved, okay? Um this is a good scripture right here. Um Matthew 22 and 9, go ye therefore into the highways and as many as you shall find bid to the merch. Okay? What is the merch? Uniting the, the 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 widows okay which are the, the Israelites that wasn't um wasn't living life according to what the scriptures say we're we're out there bidding the, the people to come back onto Yahweh by Simeyawasha okay so it's our duty once again to not oppress the widow so as a as a brother that's coming in as a widower you know we're we're supposed to follow these scriptures, okay, and 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 seek out of the book, okay, all of the things that that we supposed to to do, okay. We don't we don't unite on uh, under the the Quran or you know these other books out here, man, okay. We don't we we don't unite under these other books. We unite under the scriptures, okay. This is the, the, the full marriage. So we're telling people to come back onto uh, the Heavenly Father and and pretty much, you know, with the Lord, the Lord established that covenant with, with with us. Okay? So we have to come back into the to the marriage. We have to come back into the Lord's uh uh love, man. Okay? Which the love is keeping the, the law, statutes, and commandments, keeping the faith. Okay, being a faithful servant or faithful um, person to the Lord. Okay, and the scriptures also refer to 
uh, our people, especially the men, is the Lord's woman. Okay? So it says, and oppress not the widow. Okay, so a brother come in, you know, you don't, you don't, um, you don't lead that brother the wrong way. You know, you don't, you don't, um, uh, tell that brother the wrong things as far as, you know, what the scriptures say. Okay. If the Lord dealing with you, 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 you keep that brother on the path. Okay. Um, what, what the scriptures say, you know, reprove, rebuke, you know what I'm saying? Exhort with all long suffering and patience. Okay. These are the things that we're supposed to do. Execute judgment onto the brothers. Okay. Establish the Lord's name. Okay. Um, it says, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. So the widow is the brothers. Okay. That we're bringing or, or trying to get back into uh, the covenant. With Yahweh Shem Yahweh okay. Um, continuing on, um, Matt, Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, okay. So as a brother that that come in, you know, as a newborn babe, okay. You know, we we tell them the things that that happened before, okay, and the things that are happening now, or why why they're happening now, okay. It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, okay? Which we, we the Lord showed us how he took down many nations, how he loved us, okay? And that's that's a part of the hope, how how the servants uh still have faith in the Lord, you know, no matter what they went through. How you're going to do what the Lord tells you to do regardless, okay? It says now that God... Of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Yahweh Shah. Okay, so we have to be uh like-minded one toward another, okay, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah. So at the end of the day, we, we're glorifying Yahweh Yahweh. Okay, we all got we we're trying to bid brothers to this merge with with the Lord, okay, in order to to glorify Yahweh, okay. So if you 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 see somebody that isn't doing what the heck they're supposed to, you know that hey they're not glorifying the Yahweh, you know, from off of their actions, okay. Which at the end of the day, that's all that this this truth is really about. It's all about Yahweh by Shemiah Sha, okay. It says, wherefore receive ye one another as Yahweh Shah also received us to the glory of Yahweh. Okay, so this all goes hand in hand. Okay, so the thing is, we, we're supposed to receive another brother that may have came um, from a different walk of life. Okay, and that brother may be able to use that example of what he went through in his life to try to bring more fruit and for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? And at the end of the day, the, the glory is going is going to be a glorious thing when the Lord uh when that when that when the Lord comes out the the, the, the sky, you know, is a uh you know a bridegroom to to, to meet his um his, his 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 people, you know, it's gonna be beautiful because we, we're gonna be caught up together in the in the air with with Yahweh Shah if we're men of the Lord, okay, and and our you know hopefully our families also, okay, but um it it, it says oppress not the widow right and I want to go into a little bit about the oppressing, okay, um. Or how how to not oppress, okay? This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verse 17. Okay? It says, um, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. Okay? And the the uh fear of the Lord, okay, is I'm gonna I'm gonna get that scripture.
It's in Proverbs. Um, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools hate wisdom and instruction. Okay, that's a good one. Um, uh, the fear of uh, Proverbs 8 and 13. Um, I'm going to start at Proverbs 2 and 5. Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of Yahweh. Okay? So any man who fears the Lord, okay, and the things that the Lord may do, you're going to you're going to understand that you have to uh uh direct your friendship aright. Okay? It says for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. Okay? So as 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 brothers, we supposed to 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 love one another and let brothers know like yo like hey at the end of the day this 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 personal bullshit that we may have with one another man that's that worldly stuff that 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 people have man because the scriptures also say that because of pride uh come come contention you know so if a brother is uh contentious that means that he has pride and that means that he's showing himself that he's important or think that he's important when it's really about y'all about some y'all side, you're not supposed to be. It's about the Lord, man. Okay. It's not about it's not about us. Okay. So if you fear the Lord, then you're not going to be in that proudful uh, state of mind. Okay. It says, "My son, gather instruction from your youth up." So when you come into this truth, as a as a, a young man, you're supposed to, to to gather that instruction. Okay. From every brother, you're supposed to be able to, to, to suffer wrongfully, okay? You're supposed to be able to, to, to look to um, the, the man for instruction, if that's a, if that's a person that's been in this camp longer, or, or, or even a camp a brother that, that's in the camp, period. You're supposed to look at him, man. You know, look at everything is spiritual, okay? It says, so shalt thou find wisdom in your old age, okay? Everything's supposed to be looked at as an example of how... You can be more wise in Yahweh by Sim Yahweh okay, and hopefully bring in more fruit for Yahweh by Sim Yahweh or to walk on this this uh, path the right way, okay. It says, "Come onto her," okay, which hey, as as men as widows, okay, these scriptures are are supposed to be our our mate, okay. These scriptures are supposed to be our our love, you know. It says, come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, right? Because you have, man, guys will go out their way to uh, to try to uh, prove, you know, that they love these women in this world and stuff like that. You know, they'll go out of their way to, um, to take these women out on dates and stuff like that, you know. But when it comes down to uh, getting into these scriptures, studying... You know, uh, don't, as the Lord say, guys don't do that, man. Okay? Uh, being di diligent and stuff, you know, throwing up videos, okay? Being charitable, guys don't do that, okay? You have to you have to treat this these scriptures, you know, in this truth, like it's your woman, okay? Like like how we was uh, back in uh, ancient times, okay? We have to get back to, to those roots. It says, and wait for her good fruits. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry, Salakia. It says, for thou shalt not toil much and laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. So a person who, um, even you, you might have a person that, you know, may believe in the scriptures and stuff like that, you know, and uh, as soon as they hear certain things, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, uh, like, like for example, every Israelite ain't gonna, gonna look like a so-called black man, okay, um, they, 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 they look at that and be like, oh, I ain't trying to hear that, you know, or, or the fact that we get on the women and stuff like that, they look at that and be like, oh, not my queen, Okay, but what do the scriptures say? Because a man of the Lord is going to live by every word of the scriptures, man. You're going to take the good, bad, and the ugly. Okay, just the same way with, with your woman, man. You, you're going to take the good, bad, and the ugly with your woman. 
Okay, you gotta take the good, bad, bad, and ugly with these scriptures. Okay, when it comes down to wisdom, you gonna have to, you gonna have to, 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 to uh, take a loss when it comes down to trying to find a, a, a win, man. Okay, sometimes. Okay, and when and you learn more from them losses than you than you learn from them wins. Okay, it says he that is without understanding will not remain with us. So a man that is not with with understanding is not gonna remain in his truth. He's not going to remain in this marriage with your house by Simeon Shah. Okay? She will not lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. And he will cast her from him ere it be long. For wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. Okay? These these scriptures, man, and how to, to, to really serve the Lord, man, it's not manifested unto many, man. Okay? This this is some exclusive um some exclusive love that we get here, man. Okay? Better than you can you can never get from any of these women out here. Okay, it says, give ear, my son, receive my advice. And that's also where it talks about uh judge the fatherless, man. Okay? No it says oppress nor the fatherless, man. Okay? So it says, uh, receive my advice. How do you find the Lord's advice? Okay, you gotta seek out the seek ye out of the book of the, the the book of the Lord. Okay, and read. Okay, and then I also brought out this scripture for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, it says and refuse not my counsel. Okay, which you might have brothers tell you to do certain things that you might not even like. You have to you have to accept that man, especially if if if, if it's an order. Okay, and put your foot into her fetters. And your 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 neck into her chain, okay. And you got I mean it's crazy because you got guys that are into this uh uh S and M and stuff like that, you know, uh being in bondage to these women and stuff like that. But when it comes down to being in bondage to these scriptures, guys can't do that, okay. Um, it says bow down your shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds, okay. So. Hey, guys don't want to come into this to this marriage, okay? And uh and and humble themselves down, okay, and 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 pretty much be a servant, okay, for your side sake, okay, present your body as a, a living sacrifice, okay. Um they don't want to take the heat for for um for the Lord, okay, guys uh persecuting them and stuff like that. Okay, we're not supposed to be, be grieved, you know, because we understand what's going to happen in the future. It says, come on to her with your whole heart. You come into this, these scriptures, you're supposed to come in, come into this thing with your whole mind, okay? Ready for whatever comes your way, okay? It says, and keep her ways with all your power. It says, search and seek and she shall be made known unto you. And when thou hast... Got hold of her, let her not go. Okay, so when you when you come into these scriptures and you, you you get the right um the right uh understanding, you 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 growing in this thing. Okay, you supposed to not let this this woman go. Okay, not not get distracted, man. Okay, you you got to make time for this woman. You know, you got to make time for these scriptures. Okay. You got to make time to throw up videos, to make, you know, to be around the brothers, to, to dedicate it towards Yahweh Shemuel Wasah, okay? You got to make time for this, man. You're not supposed to let this these scriptures go. A lot of these people go back into the world because they let the, the, the scriptures go. They let they let go of Yahweh Shemuel Wasah, okay? When the Lord hasn't done anything unrighteous to them, okay? It says, for at the last thou shalt find her rest. And that shall be turned to joy, to your joy, okay? Because we, through you know, a hey, once again, that we through patience and comfort, okay? It goes into that man, that 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 comfort, man, okay? Um, after 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 everything is said and done, you know, after all this suffering that we go through in this society, you know, at the end of the day, we have that that comfort, man. Okay, these scriptures are are our comforter. Okay, it says, then shall her feathers be a strong defense for you. Okay, so the fact that you 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 uh bowed yourself down 
okay, you made yourself a servant unto the Lord, it's going to turn out good for you in the long run because the Lord is going to fight for you, okay? You're going to have that, that knowledge and, and uh, wisdom to get through the, the times that, that are about to come. It says, and her chains a robe of glory. And that's even in the kingdom. You know, we're going to be walking around as, because we were servants, okay? It's either you're going to be a servant right now for the Lord. You're going to be a servant in the kingdom, man. Okay, and when you when you die, you come back in your right mind. Okay, so it's what it's all what 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 you, your choice, man. It says, for there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and shall be put about her put put about you as a crown of joy, because you was wise and and following Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Okay. Because you was wise and knowing that you had to come back to the Lord, okay, and follow his ways because that's the only way that's going to get, get you far, man. Okay, that's the only thing that's going to get you to everlasting life. That's the only thing that's going to give you that happiness, okay. It says, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou, thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow, bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Man, you got guys that, you know, be, be wanting to, to understand these women out here in this world. You're not going to understand these women, man. You're never going to, man. Okay, these women don't even understand them goddamn selves, man. But here you got these scriptures that, are, you know, the Lord gave on to us, okay, for us to get that understanding. Okay, it says, stand in the multitude of the elders, you know, which the elders... Of uh, apostles, a great millstone, and the elders, they've been in this truth for 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 uh, longer than a lot of us was born. Okay, so so when you look at the the things that that they say, you know, they 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 bowed themselves down, man. Okay, a long time ago, and 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 now they're you know reaping some of the benefits. You know, what I'm saying of being a man of the Lord. You know, but in the in the kingdom, that's ultimately the goal, man, because that that's what they really fighting for, man. Okay? It says, and cleave unto him that is wise. Okay? Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape you. Okay? So when you see certain situations happen, you look at it and be like, yeah, you know, I understand it, man, what, what, what the Lord is trying to do here. Okay? It says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Okay? Which, this is a man that's going to be um, executing true judgment. Okay? Showing mercy, compassion to everyone to his brother, man. Okay? Because it's all about, you know, trying to reach the elect and trying to get the fuck up out of this society, man. Okay? And this is the last verse I'm going to get. Let your mind be un upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. And he shall establish your heart and give you wisdom at your own desire. Okay? Or, yeah, at thine own desire. Okay? So the thing is, man, is, is widows, okay, or, or, or as men of the Lord, you know, we, we supposed to be trying to bow or, or get brothers, okay, bid brothers to this marriage, okay, and tell them to, to, to seek out the, 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 the book, okay, the, these scriptures, knowing that you are Israelite, okay, um, being more of a man of the Lord, okay, um, keeping his word, keeping his faith, okay, getting his wisdom, okay, every time something happens, Okay, you go back to the scriptures and see what the scriptures say. Okay, you you live by every word that is in these scriptures, man. Okay, and you grow in this thing, man. Okay, you grow in this, this marriage. You grow in this relationship, okay, with the Lord. Okay, and you help other brothers to do the same. Okay, so that's pretty much the spiritual uh, breakdown or understanding of oppress not the widow okay so with that hopefully this was edifying and i want to say shalom till next time